Hey, I'm Jordan. I'll be going over the Azure deployment, specifically the Quick Start Single Connector. The scripts built here will allow users to create reference deployments, which can be used for demonstration, evaluation, or developmental purposes. So the goal of this deployment is to deploy a single connector with as few steps as possible, and it's intended for the use with Azure Cloud Shell. So these Python scripts will act as a wrapper around the Terraform deployments, and it aims to automate the deployment process and minimize the amount of user inputs required. So the architecture here, the deployment will create a virtual network with three subnetworks, which includes subnets for the domain controller, the connector, and the workstations. These instances of workstations through a single cloud access connector will be deployed in the same region specified by the user. This is a demo of the Quick Start Single Connector deployment. We'll be running it with the Azure Cloud Shell, which can be found on the Azure portal. It will be used as it makes the deployment easier and ensures all the required dependencies are installed. So first, we'll need to git clone the repository. Once cloned, we can change directories into the Quick Start Single Connector folder. So the two files we'll be working with are the deploy script and the quick start script. The deploy script will provide and set the required environment variables and the quick start script will allow the user to configure desired settings for deployment. So first we'll need to enter our PC over IP registration code. And then next we'll need our API token from the Anywhere Manager. And currently the default region is set to West US 2 but can be set to East or Central as well. Next, we'll have to designate the number of remote workstations we'd like to have. So there will be a graphics or standard version of the CentOS and Windows machines. Finally, we'll have to set our password and confirm. Deployment will begin and it should take about 30 to 40 minutes. So we'll be back when it completes. Now that the deployment has completed, we can see that the Cloud Shell outputs are IP addresses of the CAC VM and the remote workstations assigned. In the case that the Cloud Shell does time out, we can always look up the public IP of the CAC underneath the resources on Azure portal. So next we'll just connect via our Anywhere Manager, so we'll sign back in. We can see that the Quick Start script has created a deployment. And we can add our remote workstations here. We can connect to these machines with our clients using our public IP address. So we'll add this connection. And we can sign in using the CAS admin username with the password we set earlier. Here we see the machines we've added. So let's connect to the standard Windows machine for this demo. And there we have our machine running. So in summary, we were able to create a single connector deployment using the Azure Cloud Shell built with our scripts. So this is a quick and easy way to add and connect to our workstations via our PC over IP client. Thanks for watching.